properly validated, properly validated, and just everything works super clear. Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Anthony, and in today's video, I will show you how to really quickly and simply create and maintain forms in Vue.js with validation and kind of submitting. Uh, so let's get started. Uh, I have the blank web application project with an empty everything. Uh, and previously in the videos, we've created a text field component, which is basically a just an input wrapped with some um, wrapper components, some uh, labeling, placeholder, dynamic properties, uh, error field and stuff like that. If you want to check it, check it out. It will be uh, the link will be in description plus the cards in the video. Anyways, so let's get into it for our text field component. We need some properties. The main property is the component data, which holds the information about the type of the component, placeholder, label, error message, pattern. I also added it here, minimum and maximum length. We will need it a little bit er uh, later. So let's do the following. So let's first of all, import our text field component from our components. And we will also need a uh, import ref from you. And let's go and create our uh, form. So our form will have a name and an age and the email um, fields. So I want to say that const name component component uh, will be a reference of an object which will have pretty much same structure. Let's just copy here. And let's say we're going to have type text, the placeholder will be name, the label will be name, error message will be null because there's nothing here. We won't have a pattern here, but we will have let's say two minimum length and maximum length, I don't know, 30. For instance, now I want to have the same for our age, but let's name it age component type will be number because the age is the number we're going to put here age age pattern zero minimum length will be one obviously and maximum will be uh, three well maybe you're 120 years old and also we will need to have an email which is going to be type of email 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 and pattern for the pattern, we can do just the following email regex. And let's see what we have. We have this regular expression for the email and we're just gonna put it in our pattern. Simple as that minimum length, I don't know, will be like five, for example, and the maximum is 100 would be enough. And it's gonna be an email component. So let's create our components text field. Uh, I don't need this. Uh, and uh, ah, and also apart from the data, we will of course need the V model to handle it in the parent. So let's say const uh, name model will be ref null for now. We will also have a age model. And we will have an email model. And let's get into it. So first of all, I want to say that V model, V model, name model, and the component data will be name component. And same thing, we will create three more plus we will have a button uh, submit, let's say, and it will have a click submit function. Let's create in advance our function on submit will be a function and it will do nothing for now. Um, let's adjust a little bit. So here we will have age component with the age model. Uh, here we will have an email model and email component data. Let's see what we've got. We're going to save it and we have perfectly uh, my view dev tools got a little bit frozen. 
Let's open it again. Uh, view. So what do we have? We have an app with the uh, with our age component, uh, name component, and email component. Models are empty. Let's try to enter something here, and we see that our uh, our models being populated with email, uh, age, and name. Everything works perfect. So now the form is quite ready, but it doesn't have any. Uh, validation, which is not okay, right? So let's go and uh, create some validation here. What we will need to do, I want to sort of, okay, let's say if we input some wrong value, for example, we have a minimum length of the name uh, of two. So if I input just enter just one uh, digit, it should not be valid. And I wanted to trigger validation on blur. So when I lose the focus of the uh, field. So let's do very sim simple thing. So let's say that on blur, we will call some validate function. And let's go and create it. Um, const validate will be a function. We will hold an event here. And what I want to do so since we have uh, we can check the properties we have. Let's check the email, for instance. We have that pattern and we have minimum and maximum length. So I want to validate towards both three of these. I want it to follow the pattern of the regular expression. I want it to be not less than five digits and not more than 100 digits. So let's say const uh, is pattern valid will be our event target value match our props uh, component data pattern. And if it's not valid, it will return a null to us. So I want to transform it into a Boolean value. And also since some of our component, some of our fields don't have pattern, I want to also check if there is actually any pattern. So if let's say, if we do have a pattern, then do that thing. Otherwise, just return true. The is pattern valid. Valid. Sorry. Now, also, I want to say that is um, length valid, and I want to do the event target value. Um, more or equals to props component data min length and uh, let's just copy it and if it's less or equal max length right right uh, and now the last thing I want to do is that uh, not last so since we want to also show a message, we have uh, an, a span class field error with the message and it will translate either the parent error message, which we're not going to use for now or the local error message, I want to put something in that error message. So I already have that local error reference created. And let's say that if part are not valid, or is length not valid. I want to say that local error value equals to uh, please enter a valid value. And the uh, else, if everything is fine, I'm going to just say that it's an empty one. And now let's see. So inputting one digit and unfocusing will cause an error and inputting multiple, uh, something doesn't work. Oh, sorry, I forgot one thing, length of our value. Uh, and let's see what we've got. Refresh, one digit, show message, multiple, yeah, message is removed. So locally, our component is being validated just totally fine. Here goes with age. And let's check the pattern. So if we input something like this, it's not valid email, obviously, this is not valid as well. 
and here we put the proper email and it works super fine. So now the last thing I want to do is to trigger a submit sort of of the form, but I want this button to be disabled if the form is not valid. So let's do the last thing, uh, pretty much last thing. In the define emits, I've already prepared the form validate emit. It does do nothing for now. So I want to emit this form validate and I want to pass the uh, combination, Boolean combination of uh, the pattern and the length. So let me just copy this thing. Oops, sorry, uh, emit, but I want both of them to be valid. And I want it to be one kind of Boolean. So I just transform it into the Boolean and emit. And now, of course, I need to handle it on the parent. Let's go here and let's um, add form validate. It will call our validate function that we has. Oh, sorry. Yeah, no, we don't have a validate yet. Uh, let's create. So const validate form, let's say, will be a function. Uh, and it will have is valid in the payload. And let's do this. And let's just add that thing to every our component. Um, so here, what I basically and let's actually create one more thing, let's say const is form valid will be ref uh, true by default. And here I will just say value equals is valid. So let's see what we've got here. Let's go to the uh, page. Let's go to the app. And let's close everything. Now we have is form valid true. So let's input some wrong email here and blur out. Um, why is it not updating in the dev tools? Uh, let's log actually is form valid is form valid value. Let's see because I have a feeling that my dev tools are a little bit misbehaving. Yeah, it's false. Now if I add new one, it will be true. Yeah, works perfectly. Now it's false again, I add one digit to true name, false, normal name, sort of true. Okay, so it seems that yeah, my dev tools are a little bit misbehaving. Uh, and let's do just one thing. So if um, on submit that we have already created, which is a function that we're going to call on the button click. Uh, let me close all this stuff because it's too huge. We will say that if the is form not valid, we will throw some, I don't know, alert uh, form not valid. And uh, we will just return. And in any other case, we will yeah, actually we don't need a return here. Else we will log um, form submitted and let's show our um, let's show our data. But since we have three different models, it's not really nice to have on a separate let's create let's make it more simple. Let's say const user will be just an object with name with age and with an email email empty by default. And now now I want to bind user name here to V model user age and user email email here. And here so I no longer need these guys. I no longer need this and I no longer need this. Here I just want to log the <coughs> user value. Let's see what we've got. Uh, I want to remove this. So let's go to view to app. Let's fill the name Tony age 34 email test uh, gmail.com. 
So we have, where's our user? We have properly populated user object. Uh, and let's submit, let's go to network and let's submit it. We have it properly submitted. So now you can send it to backend or whatever. Uh, oh, sorry, we didn't disable the button. Uh, let's go to button and say that uh, it is gonna be, sorry, disabled. Disabled when uh, is form valid, but when it's not valid, obviously. So let's check this out. Let's input the wrong uh, and it's disabled. So that's pretty much what I wanted to show you today. So we have a pretty beautiful structure of the form with our custom components. And uh, the only thing we do, uh, we just validate on blur, checking for the button, for the length, and it works just perfectly fine. So let's just give it another try. We have uh, Tony age 34, but our email is not properly set. It's not valid. We cannot submit. We can just make it properly submitted. Let's say we can remove it up. Oh, yeah, zero is uh, actually also considered to be a digit. But anyways, let's see properly validated, properly validated and just everything works super clear. Uh, thank you very much for watching. If you liked it, please give a like, subscribe to the channel. And in the next videos, we will make the same, but with the generic forms, it's gonna be really interesting. See you later, folks. Cheers.